Keyvokers. What up, guys? This is Keyvokers. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on the Back Gardens Quickly achievement in Untitled Goose Game. This is awarded for speedrunning the third area, the Back Gardens, in under 7 minutes before the church bell rings. So first thing you want to do is break through the fence. After that, you want to wait till he's holding up the newspaper, and then we're going to steal his first slipper, hopefully without getting noticed. Then you want to go ahead and throw that into the little pond right there. Next, we want to go ahead and drag this rose behind this squirrel-looking plant. After that, we can go ahead and untie this little yellow rope right here to break down the fence. Then we're going to go ahead and start bringing over some of this laundry. That's going to be the most time consuming task in this part of the game is we have to do the laundry. So if you press select, it's going to show you everything that is included in the laundry. But we have to carry over at least one slipper, two socks and the bra. We also need to get some soap for that. So real quick, I'm going to grab the second sock and take that and put that into the pond. So now all we need is the bar of soap and then we can cross off doing our laundry. So you want to walk up here and then the soap is going to be on the left hand side here on the rim of this bathtub looking thing that they have the plants growing out of. First you want to take out that drawer. That's how you exit if she ends up putting the fence back up. So we're going to take the soap bar and hopefully without getting noticed, we're going to pass this guy and we're going to put the soap inside of the pond. That's going to cross off doing the washing. Now we're going to break down the fence once again. And like I mentioned, you don't want to have this guy walk down there because then he's going to start noticing all of the stuff that we eventually drag down there. Now there is a task for removing both of his slippers. One you can remove while he's looking at the newspaper, and the second slipper can only be removed while he's drinking his tea. Now, while he's drinking his tea, you have to creep up real, real slow to be able to get his second slipper. After you steal it, you're going to cross that off for making him barefoot. You don't want to make him chase you downstairs, uh, again, because then he's going to get distracted by taking all of the stuff out of the pond. So we're going to head over to the other side where the neighbor lives. We're going to go ahead and walk up and then you're going to want to press the bell when he's drinking his tea. That's going to cross it off for making the man spit out his tea. Next we want to go to the fake goose and take the ribbon off and then you can lower your head and grab the tail. We're going to drag the goose over into the neighbor's yard where she can't get it. We're eventually going to play pretend and replace this goose. So we're going to drag it over here where neither of the people can see it or get distracted by it. Sometimes you'll find that she puts up the fence when she notices it. We're going to go back over here to this guy. We do need to get a couple of his items off of this table. Might as well do it while he's distracted complaining about the bell. First thing is the pipe. We need the pipe, the hat, and the glasses because she's going to basically put all of them on this statue to create a look for the statue. So just leave the pipe right by the statue. Next, while we're at it, go ahead and drop the red bow right in front of her. After that, you want to walk up to the spot and interact with it where the fake goose was. You're basically going to act like the goose statue, and she's going to put the bow on you. Now, if she notices that you're the fake goose, she won't do it. If she keeps noticing you, you can press B to stop acting, and then she's going to pick up the bow, and then you can start acting again. Eventually, once she doesn't notice that you're a real goose, She'll tie the ribbon around your neck. This is going to cross that off of our to-do list. Next, we're going to go ahead and head back over to the other neighbor's side. And we need to work on getting the other things off of the table. So we have the hat and the glasses left. We're going to go ahead and grab the hat for now. We're going to make sure that he doesn't see us. If he does see you, just make sure that you run to the other side of the fence. Because he can't catch you once you're on the neighbor's side. So take the hat over by the statue, place that right in the little fountain area, and she's going to put the hat on the statue. Once again, we're going to head over the fence, and we're going to grab the last item on the table, which is going to be his glasses. So we're going to walk back down, and we're going to need to sneak past him um, and get back over to the neighbor's side. Hopefully she hasn't put up the gate quite yet. Luckily, it's still open. Um, if either of the characters run into you, it's going to make you drop the item that you're holding. 
I just dropped the glasses right by the fence. I'll just go ahead and knock it down real quick, pick them back up, and we're going to take them over to the fountain and the statue. Drop them right there, and she's going to put the glasses on the statue, and that's going to complete the look for the statue. Next, you want to take this purple vase, and we want to take it over to the other neighbor's side. Anything on his side of the fence that's not his, he gets upset, and he ends up throwing it over the fence to the neighbor's side. Now, we need to get him to break this purple vase, so just drop it right in front of him and he's going to get mad and he's going to throw it over the fence. But with this item, it's going to break. This is going to cross it off of our to-do list and the other neighbor is going to get pretty upset about it. Now, the last thing we need to do is get her to cut this rose right here. We can do that by going over to her side and ruffling up her squirrel plant. After you ruffled it up a little bit, go back to his side and she's going to try to fix up her plant using some scissors. I'm sure they're not called scissors, I don't know what they're actually called, but she's going to uh, clean up her little bush, and then after that, she's going to see the rose, and I guess she thinks that it's part of her side, and she's going to cut off the rose. And that's going to be our last task for the back gardens to-do list. That's going to unlock our achievement for the back gardens quickly. That's for 80 gamer score. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If this video helped you out, please leave a comment, and don't forget, to like and subscribe.